Hi. Maybe you're like me, and you like to sleep in past all 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And maybe you also like to go to bed at a decent hour and know that you'll be able to sleep through the whole night without being awakened by the shrill cacophony of the neighbor's wicked, incessantly barking dogs. Maybe you've even been over to the neighbor's house once, twice, or five times to talk to them about the barking and to get them to get off their drunk asses and do something about it. Or maybe their response to you was to essentially laugh and tell you that if at 2 a.m. the dog needs to pee, they'll let it outside. And if it happens to bark, it's not their fault. And if it happens to stay out there for a couple hours, they can't do anything about it. And so you're just SOL. Maybe you've even resorted to calling the police several times and the police have done absolutely nothing about it. And animal control even has done nothing about it because they need more evidence. And you want to avoid an all out war because you don't want to get involved with something like that. So if that's the predicament that you're in, I suggest you do this. Go out, buy one of those big restaurant pineapple cans. You can get them at a big grocery store. Hell, I bought two cans. Clean them out, spray painted them black, and I cut one a long way to make a rain cover. So it actually mounts like this, points like this. And if you look inside, you can see that there's a square. That's a, that's a big dog whistle. And you get them from this place in, in Texas. And the brand is a oh, Martin. Um, okay, and that's important because that brand is the best dog whistle I could find on the internet. It's a long range dog whistle. So it's like deafeningly loud. You can only imagine when an air compressor is blowing through it. But so there's a, and there's a standard dog whistle underneath it, mounted underneath it. Hard to see from here. So there's two dog whistles. My goal is to create kind of a harmony between the two because one's more low pitched, one's more high pitched. Hopefully that creates a more robust effect. And if you look, you can see the mouthpieces. I stuck through the can by drilling some holes. And then I made it airtight by caulking around them. There are a couple of beads of caulking. In the next video, I'll show you how to hook it up to the air hose. Eventually I'll be able to control it from this switch, which I bought off of Amazon. And it's got a remote control that works at 500 feet that I can control from my bedroom. And this will be mounted in a lilac bush just a couple feet from their faces when they bark. And, uh, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea, okay? Let me just, this is not about hurting the dogs. In fact, I'd be really upset if I found out that, uh, that this thing in any way caused their ultra sensitive canine eardrums any pain whatsoever. In fact, the thought of that, the thought of that I could possibly cause them any discomfort at all unnecessarily makes me feel just sad inside because I don't hate dogs. Dogs are little critters. They're furry, fun, cute little critters, and especially these two. I would hate to do anything that could possibly hurt them. Okay, So that's not what this is about. This is about stopping the barking. This isn't about getting revenge or, you know, for not getting a good night's sleep in several years. It's not about getting payback for getting woken up or from having your last relationship just about uh, derailed because of the incessant noise 
that you tried to block out by getting an uh, ultra expensive Anderson double paned window and installing it yourself with tons of fiberglass insulation stuffed in all around it. This isn't about that, okay? This isn't about that. I, did, I am not in any way a cruel person and I love dogs, especially these two. I love the little fuckers. So, but if you want to do something about the dogs barking, the point is get a pineapple can like this and get the two dog whistles and I'll teach you on the next video how to hook it up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.